Rumors about voting and election security running rampant online, prompting the North Carolina State Board of Elections to warn voters about misinformation, disinformation. Some of those rumors, they fuel worries about safety, something local election officials want to dispel as voting dates loom closer. Friday is one of them as the first absentee ballots will be sent out. Fox's Cassie Fambro caught up with the man in charge of elections in Guilford County, he joins us live here in the studio. So Cassie, what are they concerned about in particular leading up to election day? Well, Michael, so far, one of the things local election officials don't want to see is people showing up without an ID. This is the first year you're required to show one to vote. But if you don't present one when you come to your polling location, you've got to fill out a special form to validate your identity. We have all the ballots. Uh, we, we have all the ballots uh, that I think we're going to need for all of absentee balloting in-house. Now what we're doing is putting them, putting them in envelopes and getting them addressed to the people that have requested already. Election season is here. The first 6,000 absentee ballots will hit the mail on Friday, and early voting begins October 17th. With a choice in president and governor on North Carolina ballots, people want to know the process is safe. That's always on people's mind, and, and, and what I can say is that our personnel out there, uh, they have a job to do to maintain order. They're being trained in de-escalation, um, but at the same time, we have we have resources. We have law enforcement that we work close with at, at the tip of our fingertips that, that we can respond, I think, uh, very quickly to any incidents that may occur. Guilford County Election Director Charlie Collicott has been working elections for 20 years and says he's committed to carrying out the mission of democracy. It's changed. The job has changed. Um, the eyes on it have changed. But one thing that hasn't is that we take every vote, every ballot very seriously. For anyone concerned about absentee ballots, there are safeguards in place. We have our vault here in the courthouse and in, in, with, with plenty of security. So that ballot is handled only by staff and, and it's a very secure system. He says they do expect a surge in voter registration. The deadline is October 11th. Guilford County has already seen a lot of people sign up to volunteer to help as well. We'll probably use about 1300 on election day, another seven or 800 for early voting. We do have a lot of those people in place. Anyone can contact their respective county to volunteer to help with voting. Just do it soon. Early voting is going to start on October 17th in Guilford County. We've got 28 places uh, all around the county that any Guilford County voter can vote. Then, of course, election day on uh, Tuesday, November 5th. And he does want to encourage people to mail in those absentee ballots ASAP. They've got to arrive before November 5th. No grace period for them arriving after Michael. All right, Cassie.